Oh, wow. Okay. All right, Lottie. The music. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, everyone. I thought we had a little introductory music that was going to be uh, playing tonight. Uh, we're hoping that it's coming. Y'all bear with us. There it is. You know I can listen to that all day. I mean, everybody just bouncing and going on. That is such a wonderful song. And and forgive me if you guys hear some noise in the background. I don't know what's going on back there. I need to run back there and see. But anyway, good afternoon, good evening, good evening, and welcome to another Faith Principle series. So on behalf of the LA South Chamber, we are so glad you decide you decided to join us this evening. We're excited, we're tickled pink that you are willing to spend some time gaining knowledge on how to connect faith to your business. We have an exciting series tonight. So uh, as we get ready for a new perspective on faith, purpose and success, I wanna ask a question. I'm always asking a question. So the question is tonight is, have you ever asked God for more faith? You know, the apostles did in Luke 17, 5. Still at that time, they didn't have the full picture. Jesus was still with them and he had not yet completed his full mission. So sometimes we ask, we say and that we want more faith, but our actions show we just want a little bit of God. So we spend a lot of time with our cell phones, watching TV, social media, and other frivolous activities, but we don't spend much time reading the Bible and in prayer and helping others. Then when the times get tough, we wonder why faith is weak. I know you've heard reference, if you don't exercise, your body won't be fit. Well, if you don't exercise your faith, it can't grow stronger either. The promises of God go far beyond the riches and comfort of, the, of this world. His promises are heavenly and eternal. To claim them all, you need a strong, you need strong faith. So the question is, how do we make it work? Let's go to, uh, to God in prayer. Father, help us today to find faith in these trying times. Often we have no idea where life is headed. It seems like our lives are spinning out of control most times. Situations come our way that we cannot face. Decisions need to be made and we do not know which is the right choice. Obstacles seem insurmountable, enemies seem unbeatable. We feel scared and alone. 
Oh, okay. Then the name of Jesus, Father God, I don't know what's going on around me, but Lord God, I just praise Father God that you would just cover whatever is happening, that you just take control of it right now, Lord God, that you bring some calm because Father God, right now the enemy is at work. And we are trying to make sure that we impede, uh, we pour into the listening audience what is needed to help them move from this point to the other. So I praise your name and I glorify your, na- your name, Father, in the name of your son, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Y'all excuse me. I'm going to go back out here to find out what is going on in my backyard here. Uh, and we'll go on. If someone can introduce the folk, people are calling me. Oh, my God. All right. All right. So I'm going to step off for a minute. If somebody can introduce the uh, our, our faith team tonight, I'll be right back. All right. Amen. Well, we'll definitely be in prayer for uh, Lottie. We'll move forward. We're so excited about you being here uh, yeah, for our here. faith yeah. webinar. Amen. If we can mute her, that would be great. Let's see. Yeah. Yes. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So we have our faith team here. Uh, I am uh, Dietria Gates. I'm one of the co-captains. And we have Anna Queen Tut. She is also a co-captain here uh, on the faith team. We have our Dina Brooks. Amen. She is part of the faith team. Uh, GC Hooks. We have Dr. Kathy Cash. We have, of course, Denise Goodsby, who will be speaking. And then we have our illustrious uh, president, Dexter, who is the chair. Amen. He is the chair for the faith team. We are excited about you all being here. At this time, uh, GC is going to introduce our speaker for the hour. Hi and welcome everyone. This is Brother GC and it's my pleasure, yes, my my pleasure to introduce our speaker for tonight. But let me say a little bit about her, what I know about her. You know in the Bible there were times when Saul had problems, so he had to have David to come and play music and to sing. So there is a ministry where a person we have sick or something like that, and a person can come out and sing to them, and the Lord will bless the individual. Well, our keynote speaker tonight is that type of individual. She can sing and lift your spirits up. So we're gonna get right into this. This is the, the Faith Principle Team, and the title of the speech tonight is, where is your faith? And our keynote speaker is Denise Goosby. I would like for everyone to welcome with a nice round of applause at this moment. Thank you. Thank you so much, Brother GC. That was a wonderful introduction. Uh, I hope I can do it justice, my friend. (laughs) Hello, welcome and good evening, everyone. It's great to be here to share with you tonight. Um, We talk about in our faith team and during these, these series of webinars about a faith that can move mountains. But I have a question for you. Where's your faith? If it's gonna move mountains, where is your faith? Do you know that God uses anything and everything in our lives to test our faith? And that includes our businesses, that includes our nonprofits, that includes our organization. Anything and everything that is close to your heart, especially if it is close to your heart, God is gonna use it to test you, to test your faith. God uses it because he is not a wasteful God. God is intentional. He has a purpose behind everything he does and everything he allows in your life. When you run a business or a nonprofit in an organization, it's all encompassing for you. 
because you dedicate your time, your talent, and your treasure to all you can do and, and make and be for God. And you do it to be a success. But again, I ask you, where's your faith? And is your faith in God or is it in your business? Because if it is the faith that moves mountains, it better not be in your business. It has to be in God. God himself does reward people for their success. We don't want to, um, anybody to, 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 to doubt that. He says that you, he says, well done, good and faithful servant. He says, know the conditions of your flocks. Get knowledge, get wisdom, God tells us. And he says, the worker is worth their wages. And what honors God, he remembers. And he has prepared for us these businesses that we can use to give honor to him as we serve others in his name. But I want to rock your world for a moment. I want you to know that ultimately, God doesn't care that your business or your nonprofit or your organization is successful. He doesn't care about that ultimately. What he cares about is if you are successful. That is what he is concerned with. He, he is concerned with you, Anna. He is concerned with you, Bishop. He is concerned with you, GC. That is what his heart is about. His heart is about making you a success, making you to be the, the son and the daughter he created you to be. God cares that you fulfill your purpose that he put in you. And that is to know him, that is to love him, that is to be like him in, in, in your values and in your qualities and to make him known. That's the most important thing to God. And when it comes to your business, that's what he's looking for as well. See, God doesn't see what we see. We see people, we see places, we see um, positions, we, we see, see status, people, we see uh, places. But just as Pastor um, Rick Warren often says, my pastor, um, but he doesn't talk, God doesn't see us as my past, this, um, but he doesn't talk, I'm sorry, I'm hearing an echo, so that's why I had to pause a little bit. But he doesn't talk, God doesn't see us that way. He looks into our hearts and he sees how well and how close we are to him and how much we encompass those values that he wants us to have. And God will always bypass all the external stuff, all the positions, all the money and all that. And he will go straight for the, the inner self. For us with our businesses and our jobs and our nonprofits and organizations, we have to constantly remind ourselves to keep the main thing, the main thing. And that is seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all the other things will be added unto us. And that's a very difficult balance because we want to be, to be successful. We want to make money. We want um, people to know about our businesses and our services and our products. Um, we want that and there's nothing wrong with that. But it's just knowing how to put it in its proper place and making sure that God is always first and everything is under him. Um, God always wants us to be authentic. He doesn't want us to put on airs. He doesn't want us to fake it till we make it. He, want us, he wants us to be transparent in all that we do because ultimately he is the one that has to establish the work of our hands. We give him our time, we give him our talent, we give him our treasure, we give him our heart. And he takes all of that and he makes it to what he wants it to be and in his own time and for his own good purposes. And what I've learned in these past um, few months of being, months of being an, um, a business owner and being an author and a blogger is that God's timing is not my timing. 
Um, and God is in control and I am not in control. And sometimes God has to do some major things in our lives to um, really send that message home. I know he's done that for me, but he does that again, not because he's trying to harm us and not because he doesn't want our business to be successful, but ultimately he wants us to be successful. Because if we have this big business and we have no integrity, we're not gonna be able to keep that business. If we have this success in, in, in what we do, but we don't treat people right, people don't have a good opinion of us, we don't think well of others, they don't think well of us, it's all for nothing because everything we do is supposed to point to God and make him bigger and to show people how great he is. And we can only do that if we reflect his heart. I wanted to share a little bit with you um, from the book, Scarred Like Him, Seeing the Beauty in the Life You Live. It's a, um, a book that God gave me uh, about a, a year and a half ago. And I wanted to share um, a little bit about how God um, brought me to the place of being an author, which is something I did not expect him to do this late in my life at 56. I have the perfect job for you, God would often whisper to me during my morning time with him. I smiled and, and was comforted that God would lead me to a place where I could flourish. In May 2020, I graduated with a master's degree in nonprofit management. I thought I knew what my next step in life would be. I thought I would grow my nonprofit healing song ministry or work for a bigger nonprofit. That seemed like the reasonable, sensible thing for a middle-aged woman to do. You do what is safe. Does that make sense to you? It certainly made sense to me. But God's way is often not our way. And what is safe for us, God may consider foolhardy because it takes us out of his will and it also doesn't allow us to show our faith. Instead of moving me forward into the nonprofit world, God took me back to the future to my first love of writing. He stirred my heart to learn more. I devoured books on writing and publishing. I attended online conferences and joined writing groups. I took classes and signed up with a writing coach. Someone set me up a simple website and then another one introduced me to a woman whose company transformed it into a beautiful growing platform for my writing, publishing and singing business, Denise's Healing Journey. This book is part of the first fruits of that endeavor. And then I wanted to skip over and share with you this. I have finally lived long enough to see that God has given me a beautiful life. Beloved ones, do not be ashamed of your scars. Do not be ashamed of your life. It is beautiful. You are beautiful. Your God, the perfection of beauty, says so, and he does not lie. You need to receive this. God is not ashamed of you. We are confident that God is able to orchestrate everything to work towards something good and beautiful when we love him and accept his invitation to live according to his plan. There is a purpose for your faith. The purpose of your faith is to draw you to God. It helps you to see the invisible and to move forward. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. So the purpose of your faith is indeed to please God. And it is to give him glory, which is a fancy way of saying, make him big. Make him big in your eyes and make him big in the eyes of others. Put him in the spotlight, not yourself. Now the purpose of your business is the same as the purpose of your faith. It draws you closer to God, or at least it should. It helps you to see the invisible, as you plan and create what God has given you and you walk it out, you have to depend on him 
because he is the one that is established the, establishing the work of your hand. It's your obedience in creating and guiding and directing that business, that organization that pleases God because you are trusting and depending on him. And when people see and hear your story about how he sustains you and your business, how people have been impacted by the fruit of your business, then their eyes are open to him. And not only are you um, blessing people in terms of in terms of your business, blessing them as and making customers of them, but ultimately you are making them hearers of his word and people who are open to God. So again, you need to be your best and your authentic self before them because people, it's, it's, it's funny, the more honest and open and transparent you are, even with the hard stuff, the more they are truly drawn to you. And that's something that I have seen with my own business, which is a blog and a publishing business, and which our motto is encouragement for the healing heart. And people are encouraged when, you, when they see you go through the hard stuff and you're still standing because it gives them that faith, the faith that moves mountains to know that they can stand too. Now, the purpose of your success has two parts. When we think of success, we think of the money and the power and the influence and the position. But God doesn't see those things as being marks of success. People look at the outward, but he looks at our hearts. And God is not as concerned about our success and our comfort as he is our character. Because ultimately, again, success for God is, is us being successful us having love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. That's what God sees as successful. So he wants to know, do you keep your word in your business? Do you um, thrive and strive to do your best? Do you treat your employees and customers with fairness and, integ and integrity? Do you love your family? Do you, do you still minister to them? Or is it all about the business? Because success in itself can be a test. And we forget that. Because success is something that's very addicting. And it can either draw us closer to God or it can draw us away from God. Because it's a test of our loyalty and our faith. Is our faith in him or is it in our business proverbs says that the power that the praise of others is a snare so if we don't have success if we don't see our success as being good people that god is making into as opposed to our business success then we miss that part we miss the best part and the greatest part about what god is doing in us making us better people um, for him and for his glory. God wants to know, will you acknowledge him as well? Will, will you take the credit for your success or will you give it to him? Truly give it to him. And also people, again, tend to forget God when they become successful. And God wants to see, will you forget him? And if need be, Will you lay it all down? Or, or is the business, the nonprofit, the organization, and all the stuff that surrounds that, is that more important than him? Now, I want to be straight with you, and I want to be a little honest with you myself. Sometimes it's really hard these days for me to um, walk by faith and not by sight. Because you see, I, I, I'm, I'm living that dual life of joy and pain, as the old song says. Um, I've been very gratified by the people who have read my books and who've talked to me and said that they were encouraged by what they, what they read. Um, I've been very gratified that um, one of the books that I, I read was nominated for a Sealer Award, which is 
uh, one of the highest awards you can get in Christian publishing. But at the same time, I'm having this quote unquote success with the books. I've also been out of a home since September 11th of last year. Um, I've basically been Abraham and I've been um, living from place to place, um, made friend here, sister there. Right now I'm in a hotel. And so there have been times that I've not felt um, quote unquote successful. And it's when God comes to me and says, but you're doing my will. You're sharing the message that I gave you to others and you're doing my will. And um, I have to say, okay, Lord, okay, Lord, I did say, here am I, send me, and you, um, you took me up on it, <laughs> and God will take you up on it. He will, yeah. he will take your yes, and he will run with it. Amen. But, um, just know that his ways are not your ways, and his thoughts are not your thoughts. They are much higher. They cannot be understood sometimes until you are on the other side. Mm -hmm. But again, where is your faith? Is your faith in your business? Is your faith in your success? Or is your faith in God? And I can tell you, um, even after all I've gone through, through these past several months, I can honestly sing this song. I never would have made it. Never could have made it without you. I would have lost it all. Never would have made it. Never could have made it without you. I would have lost it all. But now I see you were there for me, and now I'm stronger, I'm wiser, yeah, Lord. I'm better, much better, I'm stronger, I'm wiser, I'm better. Much better. Amen. You awesome, 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 I awesome, awesome. Denise, that is awesome, 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 awesome. Amen, amen. Because amen. he lives, all fear is gone. Fear Come on, everybody gone. clap your hands. That was awesome. Amen, 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 amen. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That is so powerful. Listen, yes, we're Lord. going to, we, listen, come on, give God some praise. Thank you, Denise, for those powerful words. I mean, I'm supposed to highlight and there is just <laughs> no way to do it. I think you highlighted your own message. Yes, Lord. that was so yes, powerful. Lord. Where yes, is Lord. your faith? Where yes. is your faith? I'm mm -hmm. just gonna pick. I mean, it's, you made you made it so difficult to highlight. I'm mm -hmm. gonna pick um, one thing that was really really powerful. And you said, and you said, money is not the mark of success. Yeah. And mm -hmm. Dexter is always saying how uh, if you're in it for money, then you miss the mark. Yes. But when we when we serve the Lord and when we when we do purpose and we when we give and, and service provide as you mentioned mm -hmm. good service quality service then the, we are blessed as a result of that if, if we focus mm -hmm. on really providing the best service we can yes. and treating our customers fair and and with respect if we do those things and if that's our heart then the money will come. Money is not the mark of success. It is not. And a lot of times we're distracted because we don't have the money and we feel like we're not successful. And we assume people who have money are successful. Uh, but where is your faith? Is your faith in your money or is your faith in God? And Denise, you brought that out so clearly and so powerfully. Uh, he cares about your success. While you're caring about the business, 
God is more concerned about you because if your relationship with God is the way it should be, then your business will be successful. Mm -hmm. You will be tested. Everything is a test. Your faith will be tested. But ultimately, when you uh, have all that you need and uh, your, your relationship with God is the way it should be, your business will grow because you will grow. Yeah. So that was so awesome. Let's let's hear one more time for Denise. Amen. That was awesome, awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. I am encouraged to know that my faith is what's going to help my business grow. My faith is what's going to help me grow. My faith is going to keep me grounded. It's going to, I'm going to be a magnet to draw more customers, more clients when in I'm the name of Jesus. In, in the name of Jesus. Yes. It's, in it's the name powerful. of Jesus. Yes. So we're so thankful for that. But yes. Denise, if you will, just give us maybe a 30 second word of encouragement and we're going to move it along. Amen. 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 I just want to encourage people out there. You were a success long before you started your business. You know, mm. When you put your faith in God and you trusted in him, you were automatically marked with success. That's awesome. And so Amen. all you have to do is to listen to him and to yes. keep on going as he orders your steps. Amen. So God bless you. Amen. 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 That's awesome. Amen. Awesome, Yay. awesome, awesome. Yay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes. All right. I believe GC is next with... Q&A or testimonies? Unmute. Unmute your phone. Thank you. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. Yeah. Again, at this time is a session, a portion of our speech where we talk about um, anything. If you have any questions, anyone out there, I'm, um, I'm from the old school. And so I cannot see if there's anyone out there, but if there's someone out there that has a question, any question for our speaker, would they please speak up, unmute, and speak up. Is there anyone out there? Or if you have a testimony. While people are thinking, can I just jump in for a second, uh, Brother GC? Yes. Um, uh, you guys, thank you so much for allowing me uh, a, 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 a opportunity to go and check out what was happening. Uh, and uh, Sister Denise, I mean, just coming in on the portion that I heard was absolutely awesome. Uh, there was a big encampment behind my house, and apparently folk are calling me to tell me that the, it's on fire. Ooh. So they have, whatever happened back there, I don't know if you heard the booms or whatever that was, the loud popping that was going on. Uh, that was there because I don't know what they had in that encampment, um, but it is burned to the ground. Mm. And uh, you just want to give God praise because the last time that happened, it burned my garage. Mm. Uh, and I just hate to see um, that whoever was living back there um, is now uh, have lost everything that they had. All the stuff that they've accumulated is gone. Mm -hmm. uh, and talk about the grace of God. And as Denise was speaking, I've written in my notes, uh, Jeremiah 29, 11, that says, for I know the plans I have for you, mm -hmm. declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not harm you, plans to give you hope and a, and a future. And that's our prayer today, is that we believe God and take him for his word, that he is true to his word, even when stuff like this is happening. He's still true to his word. So I just wanted to take an opportunity to say, Denise, you are so awesome. Thank you so much for that testimony. Uh, thank you for the transparency that you were willing to share with us. 
I just I just thank you and I uh, ask God to continue to bless you as you, as you are on this journey. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So is there anyone out there in the audience? Uh, no. And I guess we just uh, we'll move on. Well, oh. I do have a question for our speaker. Uh, Denise, again, you said so many powerful things. Um, and hearing your testimony of where you are now, it's, I mean, it takes faith for you to even open up and share what you shared. And you didn't have to be honest. And I appreciate you for that. Um, you asked the question, where is your faith? Where do you, how do you draw on, even with where you are right now, how are you able to still have faith in God and trust even though you're in the season that you're in? How do, where do you get your strength? How do you, how do you maintain your, your level of faith? I'm just so thankful that even when I first um, became a Christian, became of faith, that I started reading God's word every day. Um, and I mean every day. I, I read the one-year Bible and I read it through every year. So every day there is a reading. And I think um, when, when you're consistent like that, it, it's, it builds your faith so that you have the faith to even step out there, you know, and, and, and do things that other people would say, why are you doing this? You know, uh -huh. why are you going through this? Well, because I, I read his word and I try to obey his word. And I know, I know that he's brought me through some things in the past, you know, things that only he could have brought me through. Mm -hmm. So that gives me the strength to do it now. And I need it now more than ever because what I've experienced in the past several months is the, probably the hardest thing I have ever gone through in my mm -hmm. life. But well, it's because you have to start early. You, should, you, you can't just start <laughs> yesterday. You have to start long before then building yourself up. Well, well, thank you. And let me encourage you because I, I think it's important that we know when we go through things, a lot of times we feel like we're alone, but I'm going to let you know you are not alone. And I'm going to change if you just give me a hot, hot second. Uh, my camera is blurred right now, but I'm in a hotel room myself <laughs> going through similar. I mean, there's a refrigerator back there. And that's the door with the little exit strategy on how to get out of here if the, if the fire break out. <laughs> so yeah. you are not alone. Amen. Amen. And Amen. I think it's important that we know when we go through, Amen. we don't go through alone. Somebody else is going through just Amen. like you. So Amen. We'll get through this together. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 That's awesome. That's awesome. Amen. Amen. I'm gonna take my I would blood. like to give a little testimony also. Uh, maybe this would encourage you. I'm not sure. But uh, years ago, myself, I was homeless for three days and partly <laughs> on my own decision and partly because of something else. But I lost everything that I had. Mm. And I was, finally I got a, a, a certificate so they moved me into what's called the California Hotel and I stayed there for a couple of days. And then one of my uncles asked me to come and stay with him. And I had, I had recently had got shot in the back. And, and they had told me that I would be paralyzed for life, waist down, if they operated on me. I actually still have the bullet in my back. Wow. And I... I, uh, I, I prayed, I moved in with my uncle. He let me stay there for a year. I started back with uh, little small jobs, selling uh, coffee. And now I'm, I'm back to where I was before I was homeless. So, and I just say, I don't know if you heard my testimony uh, about my house, mm -hmm. you did? I don't think so, no. Oh, well, I, I keep it short, but mm -hmm. I was uh, 
just became a believer, a Christian, and I was in this house and I was taking a Bible study at night, learning about the Lord. And this, uh, uh, I was working a job and this guy put a wedge under the door and I couldn't get out of the restroom. So when I got out, I turned the knobs on his machine. So they said that I was trying to sabotage the company. So I couldn't get unemployment mm. and I wouldn't be able to get another job. But two days later, I got a job and I was making, I was going to make $2 more an hour. And I accepted it at first, but this is just me. This is not for anybody else. But I got a word from the Lord not to take the job. I didn't take the job. I called myself, I'm not going to take it. And I was two months behind in my house note. I had just purchased a house for my VA. And they said that, um, believe this or not, they said, we're going to give you one year to come up with the money. We're not going to bother. We're not going to send you any letters. We give you one year. At that one year period, I'm just cutting it short. At that one year period, I had every penny that they they needed and I kept the house. So I'm just saying it may look dark now, but the Lord will bless. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. 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 Well, so is there anyone else out there in the audience that want to share or have questions for Denise? If not, we just we'll move on to the next uh, step. Right. Amen. Well, thank you all. Wow, this is really a, a blessed evening, and uh, the testimonies are powerful. I have a few testimonies. I hope to be able to give one <laughs> next month. But Denise, very powerful. I, I just want to say, I know we're supposed to go into the testimonies, but when you say, where's your faith? If it's in God or in your business, that's something to think about, really. Mm -hmm. you know? So this is the part of the evening where we get to do uh, 30 second, 30 second, not 30 minutes, or three minutes, 30 seconds, <laughs> just to kind of share with, you know, uh, what you do. And we will start with, how about we start with Dr. Cash? Dr. Cash, can you give us a 30 second? <laughs> 30 second, 30 second. second. Right. All right, good afternoon and good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Kathy Cash. I am a US Army veteran and my company is Strategies for Hope Peer Empowerment Center. And this is where hope is nurtured and cultivated through support. And so what we do is just that, instill hope into individuals, instills hope through support. And we do that through teaching and just one-on-one -on -one support with one, or one another. Because all everybody needs some support at some time, at some point in their life. So we're there to offer that support. Thank you. Amen. Right. Anna, you're up. She's on mute. You know, I had, I'm behind the scenes doing the tech, so I had, to, I had to do my tech stuff. All right, good evening. Oh, that was just so awesome, Denise. You did a fabulous job. Where Thank is your you. faith? That is so true. We get caught up in work, and you know, that sometimes become our faith, and you said yeah. it. You said it. You said it. So, Hey, thank you so much, Denise, and thank you for being transparent. Uh, my name is Anna Tut, like King Tut, but Queen Tut. I am the CEO of Queen Tut Enterprises, where we service your real estate needs, tax needs, we and your commercial finance and technology lead <laughs> as well. So I can't leave out the technology, but we're here to service you, to elevate you, and to empower you. I don't just sell houses. I change lives. That's what I do. Amen. Amen. Lottie. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Good evening. Good evening again. 
My name is Lottie Cleveland. I am the owner, proud owner of Miss Lottie's Cornbread Mix, created to enhance any meal that you have, whether it be a meal, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or the in-betweens. It is created to just uh, give you that sense of your Southern feel. So um, I too wanted to, again, just say thank you, Denise, for everything. I appreciate that. And the testimonies have been awesome, so yes. Amen. 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 Sister Gates, you want to go next? So, hi, my name is Dietria Gates. I'm the project manager for DL Gates Builders. We do both commercial and real estate construction, uh, home remodel, room addition, kitchen, bath. We do it all. Again, Dietria Gates, DL Gates Builders. I am the project manager, and we make your dream a reality. Amen. 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 George, Mr. G.C. Brother G.C. here. Yes, uh, American Dream News, where we've published 95% positive news. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Denise, did you want to add anything? Sure. I'm Denise Guspi of The Healing Journey, where we have encouragement for the healing heart and where you can learn about Scarred Like Him, See the Beauty in the Life You Live, which is my book for adults. And also, Thank You, Daddy, a tribute to my girl dad and girl mm -hmm. dad everywhere, which is my children's book. Oh, awesome. It's at awesome. Awesome, awesome. Awesome, awesome. And I introduce myself. I am Ardena Brooks. My question to you is, what would your life be like without photos? I am Ardina Brooks, the CEO and founder of Designs by Ardina, and I create memorable and legacy art for individuals, businesses, and people just like you who want to capture and preserve legacy memories by bringing life to your photos through what I call legacy art so that you can continue to tell your stories and pass them on from generation to generation. And that concludes our 30-second pitch. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. All right, if our president is still uh, with us, we certainly want to give him the opportunity to uh, have his remarks. We want to thank him as he's preparing to come for allowing us to have a faith team as part of the chamber. This is not your ordinary chamber. I have never, ever heard of a chamber who makes time and space for its members to exercise their faith, number one, and secondly, to encourage other business owners to use faith as a tool, as a, as a segue into personal growth, as well as growing your business. So again, thank you, uh, Dexter, for this opportunity. And if you are still connected, we will want to definitely hear from you at this time. He's not connected. He not here. Okay. No, but he's online. Okay, very good. Again, thank you, uh, Dexter, for this opportunity. It's a blessing. I'm encouraged every time I join this uh, webinar or talk to our faith team members. It's just been a tremendous blessing. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. All right, we are on time, moving right along. Uh, let's see. Next, we have, uh, we do have another webinar scheduled. Dr. Cash, are you able to plug us in and, and get us pumped up for next, next month? All right, all right. So um, again, Denise, awesome, awesome, and amazing. Absolutely. Um, you share with us, where is your faith? And that's just one of the webinars from the Faith Principles. Uh, that we, the faith team, has been able to present to not only the chamber, but to um, the world at large, because it's not regular, it's not, uh, we're not confined to just the chamber members, but everybody has an opportunity to hear these fantastic webinars. Again, our, our series has been Faith Principles. We started out with Faith That Moves Mountains, and then we went to When Faith Works, and then back to Faith That Moves Mountains Through Prayer, and then today we heard, where is your faith? Mm -hmm. And coming on July 12th, July 12th, everybody say July 12th. July 12th. Coming on July 12th, the one and only 
Our Dina Brooks will bring our next webinar. She will be the esteemed speaker of our next webinar, which will be entitled, What Are You Believing God For? Mm, what are you believing God for? Another one of our faith principles, because again, we're not your average chamber. We are not your average chamber. And as Bishop Gay said, it's very, very, very rare that there's an intersection between faith and business on the open forum. We can do it in our little boardrooms, but on the open forum, that intersection between faith and business, you find it right here in the LA South Chamber because we are not your average chamber. Mark your calendars, register today, July 12th. Again, our speaker, our Dina Brooks, the one and only. <laughs> what are you believing God for? Yes. Amen. Amen. See you there. Yeah. <laughs> I am so excited right now. Ardina, I want to give you the microphone right now, but I'll have to wait until next month. But we have ample time. Amen. We have ample time to get excited to spread the word. And listen, for those of you who are listening uh, via Facebook or any of the other social media platforms, if you are not a part of this chamber, you should be. Go to LA South Chamber and get into our website, hit the join button, become a member. You will see the amazing things our uh, president has laid out for us. Uh, it's truly a family atmosphere. We do help each other. We do uh, support each other's businesses. I'm excited. Uh, There's certain services that I've been looking for, uh, from, from to, to handle various aspects of my businesses. And it's just an honor and it's just awesome to be able to partner up with other people within the chamber. And it, it's been great. The service has been great. The, the camaraderie has been great. The fellowship has been great. The support has been great. So if you are not a member of the LA South Chamber, you need to go to our website, get in there and see what's going on. And more importantly, become a member. You'll find that the vision that we have is clear. The vision of our president is clear. And if you tie into it and jump aboard, your business will grow. Your relationship will grow and your faith will grow so that you too can move mountains. You too can move mountains. Now, next is our co-chair, Anna Queen Touch. She's going to come with a few words of thank you. Thank you, Chair. Awesome. This has been awesome. Can everyone hear me? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. This has been amazing. Thank you for everyone watching on Facebook Live. I was trying to put the link in so you can register for the next faith faith based training because I mean faith team training because this has been amazing. I don't know about you. I have notes over here. So Denise. Thank you. And I'm going to give you a call because I'm going to help you with that situation. But I thank you for being transparent. If you guys don't didn't take anything else away, you know, we sit, we suffer in silence is what I call it. You mm -hmm. know, we think that um, people don't see that we are suffering or going through something and we never speak up because you don't know who, who, who that may help. And you got to understand everything that we're going through, God gets the glory. And that's mm -hmm. who we got to remember who we want to get the glory every day in our lives. So Denise, thank you for sharing. Thank you for being transparent. And mm -hmm. thank you for sharing this wonderful word because, I, hey, where is my faith? Is the question I got to ask. Every day I get up in this business, where is my faith? Mm -hmm. So you know what? You just reminded me. When I'm slipping on the other side, I got to go back and say, Anna, where's your faith? Get it together. <laughs> so thank you, Denise. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank everyone for attending today. Thank you for um, watching. Thank you for taking out the time on your Tuesday to listen. But you know who else is so grateful? God. Because he sees that you want to grow. And that's what it is about. You know, we, we get caught up in the mundane of the world and making the money, making the money. But it's about God, giving God the glory. And Denise shared that with us. And I want to thank our president, um, Dexter. I know he was online. I want to thank you so much. I did see in the chat on the Facebook Live, he said, thank you. So we just want to thank you, Dexter. Thank you for having the vision and being obedient 
Because it's one thing to have the, the vision. It's one thing to hear God tell you what to do, but it's the, it's the main thing of being obedient. So thank Dexter, you. thank you for being obedient. And thank you for pushing us when we like, what are you talking about? You want us to do what? When? Huh? But thank you, Dexter. We appreciate you. We thank you for pushing us and elevating us. So without anything else, I think it's time for prayer. What do you guys think? Is it time yeah. for prayer? Amen. Yes. It's time to pray. Let's pray um, to God. Any prayer requests as I get ready to pray? Uh, yes. Let's pray for those uh, young folks that were living in the back back there that has now lost all of their, lost everything. Okay. Um, yeah. Got it. And that's, um, Lottie, I want to say that is awesome for you to even have a heart of compassion for them, even though they live behind the back of your house. Mm -hmm. Most people would turn their nose up. So, and then you want to pray for them and you see they lost everything. So mm -hmm. that's the heart of um, love and compassion. Mm -hmm. All right, let us thank bow. You. Let us bow. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord, for another day, Lord. We thank you for waking us up, Father. We thank you for all your answer prayers, Father God. We thank you for this platform thank for us you, to be Lord. able to share, to share your word, to share your testimonies, to be there to be a support to one another, even though we're virtual, but we're able to support and give virtual hugs and virtual um, encouragement, Father yeah. God. Yeah. We thank you. Thank you for giving Dexter the vision and Opa. Thank you, Lord, for using them. Thank you, yes. Lord, even when it gets tough. We know it's not easy, but yes. he still persevere. We thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you for you, his Lord. obedience, Father God. Yes, just continue to give him the vision, Lord, and then help us, Lord, to just continue to walk with him, to work, to roll up our sleeves, Lord, and not just sit and say, what, what is it in it for me, but to do right. the will and the purpose, Father God, yeah. just touch in a special way, Lord. Mm -hmm. We thank you for using Denise today. Thank you for thank her you, sharing, God. Lord. Thank, thank you for her sharing despite yes, what she's Lord. going through father god yes, and then Lord. thank you for her and being transparent to us father yes, god Lord. and even yes. bishop gates and um gc and everybody else who gave their testimonies yes. lord thank you father god thank you for deliverance thank you for mm -hmm. your saving power thank you for even taking us through the trials and tribulation because that's to make us stronger to make us the plot the depend upon you father we thank you lord thank and we you, thank lord. you that we can do it because of you that's given us the strength every day lord we just thank you lord and we magnify you today we ask that you touch that young um the people that live in the back of um lottie who everything they lost lord they may be homeless but they lost everything that they had lord we ask that you provide we don't know what's going on but we yes, ask lord. that you will intervene in their lives save their souls if they're not saved father god provide for them father god just work out every situation in their lives lord just move mm -hmm. like only you know how father god just in the name of jesus we ask that you touch thank you for lottie for her thank you and, and the loving support father god she could have been mad she could have been just going irate but she didn't she she was so concerned that they lost everything father god we thank you lord and thank you for keeping her garage and not letting it get burnt up thank you father god thank you for lord. your grace lord and your mercy lord thank you thank you lord yes a special blessing over our sister denise lord we yes, know lord. that you yes, have lord. a ram in the bush we yes, know that lord. you have an opportunity oh, Lord, we know that yes, you're Lord. going to come through father god and i ask that you provide In the, the resources i yes. ask that you open the doors father god yes, right Lord. now for yes, father god in the name yes, of jesus this is your servant jesus. who's serving yes, in spite of father god not complaining but persevering we yes, ask Lord. that you will touch mm -hmm. father god bless right, right now. now in the Hallelujah. name of jesus in the father name god, of jesus you provide lord. the place you provide yes, the lord. resources father yes, god lord. you open the door lord where she yes, will be lord. comfortable where she'll be able to have peace where she'll be able to yes. enjoy lord just yes, touch lord. right now father god we thank you we, we praise thank you, you. thank you yes, for lord. this team lord thank yes, you that lord. you put us together father god thank you lord we thank, thank you for lord. your leadership and giving us leadership father god we just give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor that's due you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's Jesus name, I do pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. And, and, and Anna, we are praying for you and your mother. And yes, we pray yes. that God continue to cover you yes, and your mom. Yes, and yes, yes, that yes, healing yes. will take place speedily, Hallelujah. recovery. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we Amen. thank you that it is so. Amen. God, we just thank you for relief yes. right now. Yes. I feel thank you. That, 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 that there's a spirit of relief you, and a spirit of calm that will fall over you yes. in you, Jesus' name. Name. And God, Jesus, all of us, man. we work hard and diligently. Oh, and, yeah. and God, sometimes we wear two and three hats, but oh, God, yes. relief yeah. Yeah. in the name yeah. of Jesus. In the name, name of relief. Jesus. Give relief in the name Hallelujah. of Jesus. And we yes. decree that it is so right now. Right. In yeah. Jesus' in name. Jesus. Amen. 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 God bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I, all right, now. Dr. Cash, I just wanted to say thank you for those uh, remarks that you made. Uh, I was caught all up into what you were saying. I thought about it. I didn't even say thank you, so thank you. That was thank awesome. you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That was awesome. Yes. <laughs> You're welcome. Y'all, all right.